welcome to the TechSafe Home. Today we're going to be looking at parental controls for the Netflix streaming service. Please note, different devices and systems may have slightly different displays. Let's get started. Netflix seems to be in everyone's home on every device. It's a great service I've enjoyed for years, but like many things in our society, it's not wise to give children unfettered access to it. Fortunately, Netflix has put a pretty good parental control into their system. So we're going to go through the steps to set these controls and then look at how they work, as well as some other features that will help parents. So let me sign in. The first thing we have to do is set up profiles within your account. If you're not yet familiar with Netflix profiles, let's take a quick look. You can see in the upper right, the icon for my account and my profile. If I hover over it, you can see there are two other profiles. Jane, my wife, and Debbie, our older daughter. Each of these profiles tracks what that user does on Netflix so that it can create an experience that's customized and personalized for them. For instance, you can see down at the bottom some of the suggested new releases that Netflix thinks I'll like, as well as what's trending, what's popular, and what's recently added. These are all based upon my viewing habits, but if I switch to Jane's profile, we can see in her account that she has different selections that Netflix thinks she'd be interested in or that she has already been watching. So let's go back to my profile, and then we need to go down to the account setting. Notice this is where you can control all the things regarding your account, whether it's how you pay for it or how many screens you can put things on. Let's go down though to the My Profile section and click Manage Profiles. This shows the existing profiles, plus it gives you the opportunity to add another one, up to five total. So let's click Add, and let's make one for little Johnny. Notice there's a box over to the right called Kit. With that check, this account will be limited only to those shows, whether it's a movie or TV show, that Netflix has rated as okay for children 12 and under. So let's click on that and then hit continue. Now once we get back to the Manage Profile screen, click on Little Johnny to edit. And you'll see there's more options here. You can choose a different language other than English if you speak another language in the home. You also have other options for what's allowed in a child profile. What's good for an older child at 11 or 12 may not be suitable for a younger child at four, five, or six. So you can choose to limit it to little kids only. Then click Save. And let's look at Debbie's real quick. Notice that she is already set for teens and below. We'll save that. Now we click Done. So let's return to my profile. As you can see, there are no restrictions on my account. If we come up to the corner and hover over my icon, we can go down to Little Johnny's, he is in a different display. Matter of fact, he's in a different part of Netflix, the kids area. This will only display shows that are suitable for the age group you've set it to, little kids or older kids. And notice that when it's set for little kids, if you type in something else like orange, trying to get to orange is the new black, which is TVMA, notice it won't even show that it exists. Let's kill that and let's go over to Debbie's. Notice that when it's set for an older child, they're going to have more of the display that you and I have, again with the shows limited. There is one big difference here. If you click search, and let's say she types in orange, there will be results, and it will show orange is the new black that's rated TVMA. Before you get worried, just click on that. Notice that there is a play button. We're going to click on that, and when we try and play, it doesn't work. It's been filtered because of the maximum maturity rating that you've set. So let's go backwards and let's go back over to my account. Now, if you notice, we've been bouncing between the profiles with no passwords or anything in place. That's because there's not a way to password a profile. If you want to make it to where kids cannot jump from their profile up to yours and then have full access, you have to set the setting for the entire account. So let's go back to the account settings. And now we go to parental controls. Before you can make changes on parental controls, you do have to have your account password. And now you can set a four digit pin 
as well as setting the level for your account. If you set it for teens, then without the pin, the viewer can only watch TV14 or PG13 episodes and below. We're going to put a pin in. There's a simple one just since it's educational, but make sure you use one that's not easy to figure out and it's not a pattern like the four corners of the keypad. Now let's back out and go to Netflix. And let's say that we want to watch House of Cards. House of Cards is also TVMA. So it's above the rating that we've set. When we click on it, it asks for our PIN number. Click play. And you have the show. That may seem like a pain for mom and dad, but trust me, Having to put a four digit pin in in just about two seconds is a lot less of a problem than having your kids get into inappropriate material and you having to explain what's going on. So now let's go to Orange is the New Black. Notice that it did not require any pins since we've encoded it. The pin will stay in effect for a number of minutes after you stop watching a TVMA show. So what you can always do is go over to the child's profile and go back to yours and then try and play it again. Again you have to use the pin, but what if you forget the pin? You can enter your account password to reset it. This shows you why you should never give your children your Netflix account password. If they get a new device and they want to put Netflix on it, then all you have to do is set it up for them the first time and they don't need the password. And those are the parental controls on Netflix. I hope you've enjoyed this and it's been educational. Please give it a thumbs up if it's been helpful. If it hadn't been helpful, please send us an email at buddy at nightsquest.org and let me know how we can make these better. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do, because we've got more videos coming out soon. You can also find more printed material, including how to filter your entire home network for free, as well as other information on parental controls and different systems and internet pornography and internet safety in general, at our blog at blog.nightsquest.org. Again, thank you for joining us, and have a blessed day.